Hi there, I'm Dan Whitaker. I'm here today to talk to you about the importance of making sure that you have the uh, correct golf grip for your game. Now, obviously there's going to be different strengths of grips dependent on how well or how consistently you can square the club face for your own game. But really there's some key fundamentals in the grip that you really want to try and apply to your game. Now, I like to see the golf club lying diagonally across the fingers, okay? It's really important that they do, it does look like diagonal across the fingers from the first joint of the index finger to the base of the little finger right here. It's got a little image of a glove I've got there with some drawings just popped onto the screen. Now you can see there that that's going to give you the idea of where those lines would be drawn on the glove. So what we're trying to do is to get the club to sit diagonal across the finger. Because what this then means is that we can then get the hand across okay now once I've got the hand across the key is that I want to try and get the, th the middle of the thumb the heel of the thumb bed and the heel of my palm all on the golf shaft it's important that I get these three elements right here on the shaft because if I've got those three contact points on the shaft it means that I'm going to have a firm hold of the club now you can see on the next image right here just showing it from this angle of where the, the, where it's all fitting together. And so we could see there it's showing these three points. Now one thing we don't want to do is we do not want to get the end of the very tip of the finger on the shaft. We could see how this ends up li lifting the palm off the club right here. If the palm comes off the club right there what happens is it's very difficult or the heel pad of the thumb is off the shaft there and I see a lot of people with a very high knuckle on the left hand it becomes very difficult to get the correct wrist cut. See it halfway back here I've only got the golf club not even close to 90 degrees. Well if I get the middle of the thumb so the actual tip of the thumb itself is off the shaft then all of a sudden as I take the club to halfway back here I can get the wrist cock and I've now got it at full 90 degrees right here. I believe this is vital for what you want to do in your game. If you get this at 90 degrees here, suddenly you're going to be in a much better position to control the golf club and get width at the top of your golf swing. Now, once we've got this in place right here, then the back of the hand will be somewhere close to about a 45 degree angle. Okay, so you want to be able to see two, two and a half, three knuckles, all dependent on what preferences it is for your own game, what, how you want to see the club delivered, how you like to feel the club face through the ball. Next, what you want to be aware of is that the area here between my thumb and the side of my palm creates a little muscle right in here, okay, when it's together. So I've closed this gap, so we can see that gap closed right now on an image. Now we can see there it's closed. Now there's a cool little bit when we do this. What this does is it activates a muscle. Well the muscle goes and creates um, a linkage up underneath the depth of my armpit. Now when I put my right fingers underneath my armpit here and I keep this apart, there's no pressure created. Now as I connect it right here, I can feel how the extreme upper left armpit connects against the side of my pectoral muscle and almost the side of my rib cage and what this is doing this is creating a connection in the grip that will help to connect my left side in the backswing I think this is going to be vital for what you're wanting to do so you get the connection from the grip all the way through the golf club so you're going to end up with a very connected synchronized and matched golf swing so it's very important that you get that part of the grip right next what we want to do is once you've got the left hand in position what we're wanting to do is get the lifeline of the right palm. So if I make my hand like this, we can see it creates like a little C sleeve or a little U. Now what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to try and make sure that that little sleeve goes straight over the top of my left thumb. Okay, then I will close the fingers on, okay? And I'll make sure that I'm not grabbing on with the right index finger. It's just sat next to the side of the shaft. So what's happening is the right palm is pushing down on the left thumb. There's two reasons for this. As I set the club in the back swing here, it allows me to get the correct wrist cock. As I take it to the top right here, it means that I can push against the shaft with my right hand to give me some width, okay, and get my arms away from me. It also means that the club is fully secure because at the top we have what's called a jackknife effect, i.e. the club continues to move on, okay, and down as the handle starts down, which creates this bowing in the golf shaft, okay? Now, if we don't have hold of the club properly, 
so i.e. we don't have these pressure points in place and we don't have the right palm pushing on effectively what can happen is a club can move and create a gap here that will then create holes in your grip or create a bit of a throw away and they and over the top move as you re-grab the golf club on the way down as it comes out to win and you end up being very inconsistent you end up have adding loft and coming out to win on your strike so it really makes things quite difficult in terms of from a consistent standpoint of striking the ball properly I think they'll get a lot of benefits out of making sure you get this grip correct because I think that there's so many benefits to it. One of the re other things is we don't want that right index finger grabbing onto the shaft when it's slightly loose to the side because on the way down that golf shaft moves against that index finger so we can feel that load and this will then allow us to get some shaft lean at impact right here so the golf shaft is loading against it. If we're pushing off with that right hand, we'll tend to get a bit of throw away through the ball, maybe create a slight scooping action through impact. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video from me. Um, please uh, subscribe to my channel. You'll see lots of interesting information coming up on there. Please uh, visit my Facebook and Twitter links below. We've got some really good info on there too, which I think will really help your golf game. Please feel free to visit me. I'm um, available for lessons here at Altrincham Driving Range. I also do online lessons and lessons periodically four or five times a year over in America or get in touch with me via my website. Really look to speaking, forward to speaking with you again very soon and thanks a lot for watching.